Hello and welcome. We now have in-depth looks at each of the four common rooms that are present in Hogwarts Legacy. So today I'm going to break down 21 Easter eggs, references, and small details you may have missed. Up first, we're going to look at Ravenclaw. Now this is a house we see briefly in the books, but not in the movie. But you can see the elegance and beautiful structure of the Ravenclaw common room. But the biggest part is this statue of Rowena Ravenclaw. It includes her diadem up at the top, and she's even holding a book. This is something that's described in the books, and it's really cool to see it here. Up next, we have these beautiful eagle flags representing the true colors of Ravenclaw House on these light fixtures, and they're absolutely an awesome small detail. Next up, we have these musical instruments, a harp, and what looks to be a lute, just showing the creativity of Ravenclaw House. I'm in love with the elegance and style that the developers have brought into Ravenclaw House. I'm sure Ravenclaws absolutely love to see. Next we have this quick travel point, or at least that's what I think it's going to be. It's a flu powder point. We can see it in a couple other trailers, so that's why I think it's a quick. It would also be nice to have because there's only so many times you're going to be willing to go up seven flights of stairs to get to your common room. Up next we have this beautiful detail in the floor. It's a bronze eagle tile which I absolutely love and this one you can't really see as well but here on this back wall there's a eagle emblem now here coming up is one of my favorite ones as you look to this drawing board there's actually concept art that has already been shared with us again the developers just show us their attention to detail now this is the part where I would be the Neville of Ravenclaw so if you don't know, the entrance to Ravenclaw House has this bronze eagle door knocker, but also requires you to get a riddle correct. I would have to wait for somebody else to come get the riddle correct after I got it wrong, so therefore, much like Neville. But can we just appreciate how gorgeous this entrance is? Also, look at these cool constellations up on the ceiling. And then with the eagle statue, it's just really, really cool to see all this. I can honestly say that I love every common room we've got to see, but all of this with Ravenclaw, it just shows that creativity and elegance that we know Ravenclaw for. Now look at this little feature. These are bronze eagles on the light fixture, and while it's small, it's a really cool detail to have. Up at the top, where this skylight is, I'm interested to see if we're going to be able to see stars at night here or not. That would be a really cool detail. Ravenclaw House just has so many little details. From these arched windows to this carving of an eagle, there is no lack of detail being put into these common rooms, and it's so amazing. This last bit was the hardest for me to actually figure out, but if you zoom in here, you can see a lot of different Latin words. Most of them we can't make out, but you can make out these two. And when translated, they mean reason and knowledge and learning, which are perfect for Ravenclaw House. Now, I really loved our tour of Ravenclaw House, and I'm just as excited to show you our next breakdown of the Hufflepuff common room. Unlike the other three houses, we have very little information about Hufflepuff House. We do know that it is homey, down-to-earth, and peaceful, but other than that, we don't have much information. Now, just like with Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff starts this out with a portrait of Helga Hufflepuff over the fireplace with her infamous cup. And just look how comfy this entire place looks, like you're right at home. I absolutely love the warm and inviting atmosphere of this common room. Now, if you're a plant parent, this next thing is for you. Look at all these cauldrons that are being used as pots for all these plants. I just think that's such a really cool thing and it just adds to the warm and down-to-earth vibe that Hufflepuff House is known for. I have one succulent so far and it's done a good job surviving me. I'm hoping the common room can be a place where we interact with our friends in the game and like get to know them and learn their storylines, maybe over wizard chests like you see here or something else. Now in the other side of this shot you can also see what I think is a loot chest just like the ones we saw in the gameplay trailer. Again, I just love the attention to detail that the developers have given this game, but up on this upper shot of the Hufflepuff common room, you can see this stained glass with its viney garden-like 
details which are so gorgeous and I think those are like the little dormitory areas. Now up next we have a look at a portrait that we got to learn about in the books. You tickle the pear on that portrait and it opens up and that'll lead you into the kitchens which we did get a look at during the gameplay trailer. When we looked at Ravenclaw we saw elements of their house animal. This is the same with these badgers on the edge of this torch for Hufflepuff. Now we would get a really cool first look at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room and we have these house elf heads. I mean they're carved into the wood. Not taken from a house elf. Although I'm not sure why he looks like he's terrified. But Hufflepuff did help get them in the kitchens. Now we also get a look at the fat friar right here. He's turned around but that is the Hufflepuff house ghost. And we get another beautiful shot of just the open welcome environment of this circular type. Hufflepuff common room. Now right now we also get our look at a flu spot for Hufflepuff. Like I said I think these are quick travel points and we get a better look from the front side of the Fat Friar. We actually don't know a whole lot about this house ghost but we do know he's known for being very kind. So hopefully if you play as a Hufflepuff you'll get to know a little bit more about him. That is all the easter eggs, references, and other hidden details I have for the Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw common rooms. Let me know if you spotted any that I missed down in the comments. Also let me know which common room was your favorite or what your favorite reference or hidden detail was. I will be covering Gryffindor and Slytherin next week so please subscribe so you'll get notified when that video goes up. And as always thank you for your support of this channel.